So if I decided I don't want my face to be quite so liney, I might just take a clay tool and start working on smoothing out the lines that are around my features. Just by going across the lines and then maybe smoothing it out with my thumb. I will get rid of some of the lines and then maybe I can just focus on the features such as my eye. I'd like that as my feature. This is completely up to you if you want to do this or not or you can kind of go with the style. If you feel you can't see your features this might be a good idea. Now you can use a clay tool or you can also use a clay rib. Same one you use for the back. Kind of smooth areas like this. Again watch the sides. You want to keep those edges nice and neat. So I might do something like that to start really smoothing this out. And I'm using the clay tool for the smaller areas because it works much better to get in those areas and not accidentally um, smooth out things like maybe my lips. I think I'd want to keep popping out. Okay, let's see, I might smooth this area out. I think that was my eyebrow. And that is my eyebrow. Okay, so if I accidentally smooth something back out, feel free to draw it back. If you need to maybe turn your image over and kind of look at it through the light, you might be able to see. My eyebrow's a little bigger. So actually, I'm kind of coming over like this. how you fix up your mistakes here. Okay, so I'm going to keep this eye and smooth out here. This is my nose. I just smooth out. I just redraw that section. I don't actually want it touching my mouth, so I'll smooth that area out a little bit. So something like that. So that might be how you want to do it. Maybe then I realize, huh, this section kind of seems a little flat and plain to me. Maybe then I'll take and roll a coil and add some details. I want to give a little dimensionality. Maybe I'll curl it around here, something like that. So if you want to start making things on top, you can kind of have them popping out. Something like that. Now on top you would want to scratch and score um, using a little bit of slip. Now the easiest way to do this is kind of get a fork. I wonder where your quail is going to be. I kind of scratch it a little bit. 